Welcome to the Electromagnetic Works video tutorial series. In this tutorial we will show the capabilities of the high frequency simulator HF Works to determine the scattering parameters and electric and magnetic fields of this radio frequency filter. HF Works can analyze any model that is either built or imported into SolidWorks. It can also perform different analyses for any configurations available in the SOLIDWORKS model. In this example, the radio frequency filter has tunable screws. Every set of screws has a different depth. One configuration is also available in which there are no screws present. By clicking on the HFWorks Manager in the SOLIDWORKS tabs, you can create a new study. There are three different types of studies available in HFWorks. S parameter, resonance, and antennas analyses. In this example, we will use an S parameter study on the RF filter. Then we will apply the options. There are different settings that can be applied from the starting frequency, the ending frequency, and the number of frequencies to be used. as well as the type of sweep for the frequencies. A fast sweep is available which will solve a single center frequency and create a reduced order model to allow for faster simulation of the other frequencies. In this example we will continue using a discrete sweep which will solve all of the frequencies individually. After the definition of the study you can enter all of the preprocessing inputs. The first step is to apply the materials to all of the bodies. Since in this example, the only model being analyzed is the air component inside the filter, with just one body, you can apply the material to all of the bodies in the solids icon. From the HFWorks material library, you can select the air component. You can view the electrical parameters of any material you want to apply at the bottom of the material library. You can also choose to create or edit materials if the existing materials aren't satisfactory. After applying the materials to all of the bodies, you need to apply loads and restraints. These include the ports, which act as wave ports for each side of the filter, and can be reviewed before carrying on with the analysis. Another load and restraint which will be used in this example is the perfect electric conductor, which will simulate the existence of the metallic surroundings of this air component. This is done to take advantage of the skin depth effect used in high frequency analysis. There will be no need to model the entire RF filter, but instead only the air component inside. All faces surrounding the RF filter, which do not act as the ports, will have this PEC feature applied. The last step before running the analysis is to mesh the model. Either set the global element size or apply mesh controls for smaller areas. You can either apply these controls on solid bodies or on faces, which will be done in this example. By applying a mesh control on these narrow ends, you can have a mesh size that is smaller or finer on them and then have everything that does not have a mesh control follow the global element size which will show a transition of the mesh. After selecting the bodies or faces you can apply the control parameter which is the size of the element. There are many aspects to take into account when creating the mesh. You can change the global size either numerically or by using the slider to increase or decrease it, as well as changing the tolerance for small spaces. The tolerance can be updated automatically by changing the global size, or it can be entered on its own. You can also bypass entering the global size and use the Smart Mesh options. These options include Wavelength Meshing and Smart PEC. In Wavelength Meshing, you can enter a certain number of elements per wavelength. 
Another option to add is the Smart Perfect Electric Conductor Measure. This can be used to emit the meshing of any metallic parts to take advantage of the skin depth effect. After generating the mesh, you can either run the analysis immediately or review the mesh itself. This can be done by viewing the elements from the outside or by viewing the 3D mesh plot. The 3D mesh plot can show all of the elements from the inside. Different colors indicate different sizes. Like most 3D plots available in HFWorks, you can either view the plots by sections or by isoclipping. In isoclipping, you can view the mesh elements depending on their size. Either drag the slider to view the smaller elements, or flip the plot to see the larger elements. With the mesh now reviewed, the analysis can be run.